Today I'm gonna to show you three settings to change in Google's Bard AI to protect your security and show you three prompts to try. Okay, so here we are in Google's Bard AI at bard.google.com and the first thing you could do really quick to protect your eyes is use dark theme. They have put a button in the left hand corner that says use dark theme, push it and you're in dark theme. Now one of the first settings you might wanna change in Bard AI is Bard activity. So Google is saving every prompt that you put into the chat bot. So to turn that off, you go to Bard activity and toggle off the switch. So now that I've turned that off, Google is gonna stop saving all my prompts. Now the second setting you might wanna change in Bard is the auto delete function. If you have Bard activity enabled, you will have access to the auto delete function. Go back into Bard activity, when you click on that, you now have the option to auto delete all of your prompts after three months, 18 months, or 36 months. You can choose to don't auto delete, which will keep every one of your prompts from the time that you set that. Now I'm gonna set it to three months. Click next, preferences saved. Now the last setting you might wanna play with in Bard is when to delete or what you wanna delete. So if you go back into Bard activity, this time you'll have to verify your identity, which basically means you're signing into Google. Now I could delete specific prompts and a range of prompts. Now if I go to this delete dropdown, I can delete within the last hour, last day, all time, or a custom range. You could go in and select specific prompts to delete. You could click the X here, and that deletes that prompt. You could delete prompts from an entire day. So if I click here, it's deleting now. It's gonna delete all of those prompts from that day. You can also go into the details of a prompt and see what time you did the prompt, why the activity was being saved, and you can also manage your BART activity from this window. When you're in this information window, you can click on these three little dots and delete that specific prompt or ask for help and feedback. So those are three quick settings that you could change right now to protect your privacy and protect your data so Google's not saving all that information in the background. So now I'm gonna show you three prompts to try with Google's Bard AI that'll help you be more productive and get work done faster. So Bard just recently announced that it will now incorporate images into responses for English only. So I'm gonna ask Bard something very specific and ask it to find me black sand beaches that are safe to swim at in Maui, Hawaii. All right, so it gave me a list of black sand beaches in Maui, Hawaii with a little bit of information about each and whether or not it's safe to snorkel or swim, along with a link back to the website if I wanna go find out more information. So that's very helpful, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Bard will summarize articles and pull out keywords for you. All you need to do is drop the URL in the prompt and ask it what to do. Here's a CNET article by one of my colleagues, Jesse Oral, about a vertical farm, which is changing the future of agriculture. So I'm just gonna take this URL and drop it into Bard and ask Bard to summarize the article for me and pull out some keywords. Bard is thinking, it's gonna give me a little summary of what the article is about. So as you can see, Bard gave me a little concise overview of what the article was about, and even gave me bullet points on some of the major themes. So this is very helpful in my job, just for getting a sense of what the article's about and any keywords that I need to keep in mind when I'm gonna optimize this video on YouTube. Another thing I like to do is find keyword tags on a subject, like maybe Apple's new VR headset. So I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick using Bard. And I just simply ask, find me some keyword tags for YouTube about Apple's rumored VR headset. So it gives me a long list of keyword tags that I would easily just copy and paste into the CNET video on YouTube, and it always helps with search engine optimization. It helps our audience find those videos easier when they're searching across YouTube. Well, that's it. That's three settings you can change in Bard and three things to try with Bard AI. If you like this video, subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and check out my related video on Bing versus Bard versus ChatGPT, and thanks for watching.